up to work. <laughs> Not far to go. Uh, yesterday, we finished off cutting this bottom field. Field? Um, made little stripes in it and stuff, but sent all the hay away. Just got one truck road left. Uh, yeah, it's all nice and neat. I've gone around the edges, seen what my trees are doing. Things like that. Um, yeah. And now I'm going to attempt to make an allotment, sort of. Basically, something to grow some vegetables just behind me here. And uh, see what I can grow. I'm a bit late in the great growing season because we're still back in the UK. But hopefully, I can get something underway and make a start. And the following years, hopefully, improve. It's all new learning experience for us. Okay, and this is what I've achieved so far. Not a lot. <laughs> uh, just marking out basically where I want things to go. So I've just marked it out in horse tape and some old rope and pegs and stuff that I have. So these lines here are going to be where we walk. Yeah. Leave my feet, walk in. And then the bits, bits in the middle for growing stuff. I've basically got three sections, section, a walking section there because there'd be more stuff going over there. So if I walk there, plant there, walk here, plant there, walk there, plant there. But uh, yeah, we get too close to the trees. And uh, yeah, so I've basically gone over it with the lawnmower. He's there, no trusty lawnmower. And the old wheelbarrow picked out some big rocks. Look at this snazzy thing here. That's a Ferrari of a lawnmower. Oh, 675 on my old motorbike. <laughs> model number not CC <laughs> but yeah electric start which is okay until you have to keep stopping it if you're emptying the collection part of it and you find the battery goes flat on doing a, you know, something the size of this <laughs> but yeah in the future we won't, I won't be cutting the lawn just a waste of energy a waste of petrol I need some sheep but not yet I've got to settle in first and well, you're a simple farmer, you know, you've got to learn these things, yet. Yeah? <laughs> Alright, on with the next task.
I'll uh, just introduce you to a new addition to the Quinta, the Zenfo ZB6000. Basically, a Kabuto B6000. Uh, thought we needed to get it because though it's not very big uh, for Quinta, there's a lot we want to do, and we thought this would be a good tool and a good investment. So, I'll show you around it a little bit. Okay, so she's only a little one, but she's a powerful one. Uh, well, very powerful. <laughs> Most powerful one I've ever had. Well, I've never had one before, so not saying a lot. But yeah, got a few attachments for it. We've got the bucket attachment. I'm going to save our back. And we've got a scarifier, just like a boat plow type thing and a rope elevator thing or tiller which uh, yeah i could do with the um chain flower cut the grass as well but for the time being we thought it gets a lot of work done for us uh, controls i think it's from 1979 or something like that and zen home was uh, I think it was a Japanese commune or they kicked or co op, co op, and they bought it off of Kabutu or asked Kabutu to build it with those. Got lights, compression stop, start, key on, horn, uh, power takeoff, and three gears. Got neutral, first, second. Third. and then you've got a tortoise and a sow and four by two and four by four and then that's for raising and lowering back jobby <laughs> so yeah on oh, brakes that's the handbrake and then yeah foot brakes which you can let do individual wheels that's about as much as I know at the moment, but yeah, I'm very pleased with it. Yeah, this helps me a lot do the allotment down the bottom. I won't say allotment, it's a vegetable patch, I should say. Got my hose pipe running there. And we've got free range chickens, which is lovely, apart from, yeah, they will eat all your vegetables <laughs> or scratch them up anyway. So we're in the process of putting this fence up along here to keep them out or discourage them anyway. Yeah, buggers. And yeah, I've just got a few things growing at the moment. Not a lot, but I've uh, yeah, I've got to learn how to grow in this country because of the, the obviously the sun's a lot stronger. So I'm gonna cover the ground a bit more mulch it in and a bit more compost in with it but yeah just a learning how to do it basically and yeah all this area is going to be growing for growing things but yeah with a renovation project we've got going on here as well it's a lot to do so we just I seem to be just doing bits here and bits there at the moment but we're loving it Another snake. Oh, Ted, Ted, go back. Eh. Ted. Oh, another snake. What is it? And what do we start doing with them all? This one's quite slow, seems like, or he's just moving slow. But okay, Ted's just trod on it. He didn't know what to do with it. Going under the camper. What's going on this morning then? Meet our new 
before they run away. <laughs> Rat catchers. So we have Harley. We have to keep up with him. <laughs> Harley. Nope, that kitten's gone. Ah, followed by Hendrix. He's a little bit slower, but he's definitely a wanderer. Like a foxy cat. So these are our two new rat catchers, hopefully. Every farm needs some cats hiding somewhere. <laughs> so yes, new additions. Oh, and we've got some quinces. we got, oh, it's my Charlotte up on the top tier. Hello. You're up here. Have you got any others with you? Or just yourselves? Let's see if I can go hunt a chicken. Oh no. That's what you eat, isn't it? Uh, I can spot one in the distance. This is the top of our well. There's some steps down there. Ah. Morning, Dorothy. Are you okay? Aha. You've managed to find yourself wandering over here, have you? So who we got? New additions. So we have in the black with the brown. This is Phoenix. She's, they're in training and becoming very friendly, so they're all doing really good. Phoenix, we have Florence Fluffy Butt, <laughs> he's doing very well. <laughs> and yeah, the white Fluffy Butt one is Florence, and then we have Hazel. Hazel, come and show yourself off. Come here. Hazel, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, Charlotte's in for an attack. She's not got quite used to the fact that there's other chickens yet. And she's still trying to make the pecking order, but I think she's proved her point. But she won't leave out, leave alone now. So this is Hazel. quite beautiful actually it's sad really because they've had their beaks cut so I don't know if anyone can tell me if they regrow but it's such a shame they've all had their beaks cut and uh, hopefully they have a regrowth and start enjoying pecking more <laughs> They're about eight and a half, nine weeks old now, and they're just finding their feet. And I'm not sure if chickens have actually seen kittens as well, so they're a bit confused. What's going on, all of you? So lots of new arrivals. Lots of new arrivals. And all learning to settle in with each other. You're most probably wondering where Ted is. Well, we've got him separate for the time being because at the moment they're little mouthfuls and Mm-hmm. <laughs>
we uh, we don't want them to become a little pet lunch so the kittens um, have got their own little fence and their own doors and their own place <laughs> so Ted's in the main house and the kittens will be learning to live outside anyway so that they are rat catchers but they've not got a bad home whoops let's go inside the fence excuse me girls so yeah they've got nice big garden that they can get in and out of they've got the workshop with a hole through it that one day will be a, a guest room. Oh, you try to get through the hole while I'm doing this. So they've got in, if you go through, they are actually living in hobble. Yeah, so the, the kittens at the moment, Harley, little Harley, and Hendrix, where's he gone? Uh, living in Hobble, so they've got their bed and basket all round there. Can't really see it. They like hiding out under there, so we put their basket there. They've got all their food, waters, drinks out here, toys hanging up, somewhere they can relax, enjoy. They quite often sit on this windowsill, so they get a good good view of the garden. And we've built a little fence, well we already had this fence, we just had to build the end bit to it. Um, it's what we used to have in our old place, only out of old, some old pallets, but it's done a good job <laughs> so yeah they've got a room completely closed off just for them and drinking eating sleeping everything well it's just sad at the moment that we have to keep Ted separate but until they're a little bit bigger we don't want any mishaps so, and the kittens can come over to the house if they wanted to, um, but then, yeah, night times they will sleep out here. But not a bad home for two little kittens, and they come and go as they please. They, um, when I went looking for them this morning, they wasn't even in here. They were sleeping in the bar. We are building an extra room. One of our, our rooms just down here, we are turning into an outside bar. So this morning they were sleeping there, in the back bit of it. So all these fences do, it's not to keep them in, it's to keep Ted out.
thanks for watching and if you like what you've seen please like subscribe and follow our story as we move into portugal don't forget to smash that bell <laughs> don't forget to smash the bell cheers bye